What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Aurelia. So this new season also introduced some new items that Aurelia can also benefit from. So that's going to be fun to show you guys. And for her abilities, the passive can be stacked. And the way you stack this passive is by hitting enemies with abilities. And for each stack that you get, you get increased attack speed. And then once you are at maximum stacks, which will be 4 stacks, then you also deal bonus magic damage on hit. Easy way of stacking it up is with your Q because it's your mobility and it also resets when you last hit with it. As you can see I have one stack right now. And this also heals you by the way, the Q. Oh, that auto attack cancelled. We still have to chill a bit early on, um, especially when you play her mid lane because she'll be playing against a lot of ranged matchups usually. Just gotta chill, but Aurelia is all about fighting when you have that passive fully stacked up because you get a lot of bonus damage and attack speed. With your Q proccing on hit, means that a fully stacked passive will also be propped by the Q. So there are two ways to reset your Q guys. Either you last hit something with it or you dash to somebody who has a mark on them and your E will place a mark on them. Your E is going to root the opponents that you hit also placing that mark. He's staying far back. Oh my Q did not reset, that's unfortunate. Right now we have the W, so that's damage reduction. Oh he's going in way too early bro. That's a bit too early on, my stuff was not ready. You can see I really like to hide the animation of my E. You can do that if you dash while you're using the E. It makes it really hard for the opponent to see when it's coming and where it's coming from. And don't spam your Q too much early on. Because it can end up costing a lot of mana and you don't have the mana pool for it. And you can refresh this passive when you're hitting enemy champs or monsters. You know with auto attacks or abilities. So when you're fighting an enemy champion, it's going to constantly refresh this passive. This W, besides giving damage reduction, it actually also deals a decent amount of damage. Even more when you are fully channeling it up. Let's see if we can uh, move. If Zack is moving, then I can move as well here. Move up. Fight is starting. Hopefully, it does not die. Oh, this is looking good. No, mind, he died. He trolled. Oh my god. Okay. He did not die at least. Uh, because he has the pass, so that's nice. I saw an opportunity and I decided to roam. That's something you can do when you're playing against, you know, scaling champs like Vladimir because they don't have any pressure early on. I'm gonna wait a bit on to use this in power Q so I don't tank it for free. This is a fully stacked pass, so you can see you're just gonna destroy people with auto attacks alone. And remember, when your pass is fully stacked, your Q also deals more damage because it procs on hit. Including stuff like the Sheen, for example. It might still stay. Because Vladimir can just sustain him back up. I'd like to reset. He did reset, that's good. Oh, that is so sad. It's okay though, so the first item, like last season, still going to be the Blade of the Ruin King because it gives you such a massive early game spike. You also get this slow now. So it looks like it does not give um, you bonus moon speed anymore, but it just slows now instead. And that's also fine because it does help you. Please don't get kited. Oh, they even had the flash up, okay. So he has this spellbook here, so it's pretty hard to like time his stuff. 
We have free boots, so we cannot buy boots yet. The blades fly in sync. The minion wave is too big right here, and he uh, also has level 6, we are not forcing anything at the moment. But, same thing. Try to get a couple stacks on that Q. Backing off here when his Q is fully stacked, so I don't tank it for free, because it's going to allow him to heal up. I'm gonna hit the backline minions a little bit here, so I prep them. So if he steps up, I can get close really fast. If I had ignite, he would be dead right now. You don't, unfortunately. I'm just gonna keep engaging. Ah, that's unfortunate. You can also flash out like I did right here. He did flash out though. But let's see if we can dive him. Sin Sao might be here as well. But I could end up getting baited. Nice. And your W damage reduction also works against the tower. So if you're tanking a tower shot, you want to reduce the damage because it could potentially help you survive, then you should W. That's the sense out. Yeah. Might commit now. I have a massive wave though, but of course I cannot fight him because I'm under the tower. But I got two plates and we got a kill as well. That's perfect. I'm gonna place a ward here. If you watch my videos, you notice I do this a lot. When I reset, this is because I want to see what the opponent is doing when I'm resetting. If he's going to roam, then I can warn my teammates. They can also see it, but most of the time they don't pay attention. We have the ignite up, so we can look for another kill. Massive spike you're getting as soon as you have the blade of the Ruin King. But same thing guys, you try to prep the minion wave so you can last hit them fast with the Q, and also try to hide the animation of your E by dashing around. That's, that, that's a sneaky way of landing those Yes, another thing you can do is that W the minion wave. Because that will place them, you know, low enough HP to the point where your Q just last hits it. Nice. I could all in him right now if I had my stuff up because he used this W. He has no way to um get out. Good job. And you also is a skill shot, right? So if you had teammates who has some sort of CC, you can wait for them to hit theirs and then follow up with their E, like I did right here, because Sack hit him with that um, CC ability he has. Also ignited him to make sure he did not get enough healing from his ultimate in case he survived for that long. What strange power works through me, I do not know. If you want to push ways fast, you have to channel a W and try to hit as many minions as possible. See, it just puts them super low HP, so your Q just insta last hits. It's a fast way to push and also a fast way to stack up your Q. Or your passive, I mean. And your ultimate is another way of you getting a mark onto the opponent. It slows people, and another thing it does is that it permanently reduces the cooldown of your Q. So at level 16, even if you mess up your Q and you don't get a reset, it's still going to be on a low cooldown so you don't get punished as hard anymore. This is a change they did to make Aurelia easier to play. And he is toast. You see, it slows for an insane amount. Also giving you that Q stack so you can just keep chasing. I saw the Sin Sao topside. You see, now that we have the Blade of the Rune King, we just insta one shot the backline minions. They don't have to prep them. He might commit to try and defend. Let him a good TP. He switched the Summoner spell. I'm just gonna run towards the bot side if he comes. I think I'll back off now so I don't get flanked at two players. There's the TP. No ward up here. 
I'm gonna give Trundle some vision. See, it's a very mobile champ. It's a very mobile champ as long as you know the exact damage of your Q so you know when it last hits a minion and when it doesn't. Because if your Q goes in cooldown, it's usually doomed. Oh, his. Oh my days, bro. Is that real? He actually survived. If I waited a little bit more, I could have ignited him and he would have been toast. It's okay. We'll back off as long as we don't give away this shot down. Now for the boots. So we're playing against a heavy. AD comes. I'm not going to buy the boots yet. We're going to itemize into the new item. Sundered Sky. Giving us AD ability haste health and also that pass is pretty nice because it makes your first basic attack crit. And that can be an insane amount and then you also heal and if you heal while you're full HP it's going to... I think it's going to make it, yeah, bonus health. That right? I could have flashed W'd, it's fine. He's been really lucky here. He's been really, really lucky. Mainly because I'm missing up. Just prep the wave here. This is mainly to prop, uh, prep the uh, cannon minion and the frontline minions because the backline minions will die with one Q. And also, if that pass is fully stacked, of course, also helps out with taking out. The towers. He still has a W. What is this clown doing, bro? What is this guy doing? Top lane is getting smacked. What here? There's no point helping a guy that's getting destroyed in lane. We're not gonna focus around him. He's still walking back even though the Gallio is here. And keep going here. I can ult. Because we have a stack passive here, so it's stealing insane amount of damage. And also combine that with the Conqueror. Might have to help top because he's getting destroyed. And he might rage quit because of that. Arena is also great against that top laner. Let's move. And see what we can do. He probably has a Somna sub, I would not be surprised. The Tron is just getting straight up demolished. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your wave is too far back, I think. For the fallen. I had to go back mid here. We want to stop Sinsa from taking the Herald if we can. And I'm sitting on a lot of gold so I definitely need to base so I can get this new item too. So you have... Why did he take the heal? Lost the ghost. None can do what I do, so I will do it. Ghost is out, he has the Rift Maker, interesting. Okay, good job guys. He's gonna walk up when his Q is getting stacked. He's 
gonna do it again. Bro, can... What is this guy doing, man? Oh, no. Well, I guess that's fine because it's the Galio that got the shot down. In that case, it's okay, I get, I guess. They have a very fat top and a fat jungle. They have like mixed damage, but three ADs, two APs. So I guess we're just getting the um, armor boots in this case because the fat players are the uh, ADs. And then you can get Wits in, but this is another new item here, guys. I think I'm gonna buy this to show it. And uh, mid game started, so usually you just go to the sidelines here. So I'm gonna go bot, and then we're gonna pray that our ADC it needs to stay mid. I'm gonna pray that our ADC does not int the Vladimir. I would actually like to meet their top lane because I will be able to demolish him. Our Tron is getting smacked. Why is he even there? Don't help him, don't help him. Don't help him. He, he's getting caught and he's pinging our bot lane. It's a typical delusional player. Blaming teammates for his faults. I might actually come uh, bot side, so I have to get out of here. Because the Drake is spawning. If our bot lane can take out their top, that would be nice, because then our Trondal can farm for a while. Mission over here. They should be able to get him. Hopefully, Miss Fortune. Do oh, nice, and she also got the shutdown, that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna hide in the brush here. Issue is that their teammates might be at the Drake, so I should not force an extended fight. Also, with send would be great for the Galio. Galio is down. Are oh, we gonna lose the Drake? our jungle getting demolished on respawn I might need to get a whole breaker just so I can fk push it to victory but I like to show the new items and this item right here is actually really good when you ult as well you don't want to buy it if you have an ultimate that's very low cooldown I'm not sure what this is I have no idea actually and get the ass That's a wave coming, that's why I keep chasing. Like has to defend mid, he probably is gonna die again, I can imagine. He just has to hold and I'm gonna keep pushing here. I'll keep pushing here, so I can pressure in some way. Can keep going. Let's just keep going. Oh my days, that's a long CC. Oh my god, that lasted for a long time. I don't have any tenacity, sadly. Good ash ult. Oh no, misfortune is going to die? Or what? Right. They don't have a wave. He might still push though. Oh, okay, they had that. I see. Get him. 
That's not how flashlight's not getting out. We could actually do the uh, Baron, but oh, our AD carry dead. Oh my days, the galley, my bad. Oh, he saw another shutdown. Okay. If they can survive, that'd be nice. I also trolled. I'm staying too long with so much gold. That's so dumb. Okay, so now we have the other new item here. Also another item that gives you mixed stats, so you get AD, attack speed and such. Wait, what, what is this guy doing? What? Why does he think he can fight the Vladimir? I don't, I don't understand. I have no clue what's going on, guys. Let's get the wood sand here. We need some MR. Bro, he's so bad. He is so bad. What? What am I watching? How did he win, but I guess it was the Alistair carrying. Well, our entire team is getting stomped, pretty much. So that's definitely going to make things harder. We have top lane without TP. It's definitely not going to help. I don't think I can contest this. Yeah, at least took away Baron from one player, the AD carry. I can't tell if I'm playing with bots or not. I really can't tell. They're trying to team fight with our useless top that did nothing the entire game. He's like paper right now, he has nothing that makes him tanky. So he would just get one shot in the fight. Like he would just get insta one shot. My goal in team fights would be to uh, take out the Vladimir especially. And also their bot lane, cause the Ash is kind of useless, but she still deals damage, and the Galio also deals a lot of damage because he's building AP. Which is the reason I'm getting the Witsend. And the last item is going to be something tanky. I did not light my Oma's lantern. I don't want her to see this slaughter. Just had to rush that one. So, Nara's top side. Why, why are they not pulling it out? And I just hit. Oh, luckily, luckily. What they could do is that since I'm engaged and then they follow up with Galio ults. And that would wipe out my team, most likely. Look at top. Look at top. Like, he's really fat. And he has the Baron too, so my Q is not going to insta last hit the minions. I have to spam ping these guys because they don't know what they're doing. They can int. No one knows why he's trying to force a fight. What are you doing bro? Just back off. They have entered so much that my lead is nothing. Nice. Finally, we got something. This is huge. It allows us to stall for a bit. So they're not, at least not able to get our inhibitors with the Baron. So that helped out a lot. That uh, they're not overextended. That's great. The Vladimir is pretty fit though. And that's a, that's pretty problematic. Because he's a late game goat, the champ. And I bet our Tronda is gonna try to fight him and die. When no one's around, 
Let's back off here. So it's really hard when you play alone, trying to coordinate stuff. You're not really getting any objectives because people are not, you know, focused. So probably the Guardian Angel would be the way to go. So I can actually engage fights and also survive. And after this is procced, I'll probably get something else that makes me tankier. Like a Death Stance or a Xerox Gage. Father, mother, zealous. I would like to go top here, so if the top laner shows himself, I can try to fight him. I'm not sure what these small things do. I sit for the jungle to get around the map faster. Could be. Thanking a lot. You're way too slow, bro. Way too slow. They're gonna they're gonna be here before us. And Gal is gonna ult. Right, let's go back mid here so we can pick up the wave. It's a very chaotic fight. But it's also a game where any team can win easily. All about somebody getting caught. And he's trying to engage when he has his tech passive. Die. He survives the lucky, but just let him die. <laughs> they thought they could tame our land. Ascalio has an ult as well, so he's not going to be alone. You cannot expect him to be alone. to get him that was so crucial that is crucial if you don't get him we get demolished he would just out heal let's run away from this nice now we have to push now we have to push that was actually a risk engage from the sec but that was a good one that was a good one that even i did not see You just have to not end here so you can actually get some objectives before the Vladimir spawns and then we can also get the Drake. I don't trust them to uh, coordinate the Baron. So we're just gonna take the Drake here really fast and then we're gonna back off reset in time before they get to move towards the Baron. Because this way we can threaten with the soul. And I need to have an ignite ready for the Vladimir. Oh yeah, I would like to. But it hit me, that's fine. So this guy is showing himself bot when he does not have CP. So they could actually be doing the Baron right now. They might be doing it, who knows. Who knows, I'm full build right now, so Guardian Angel. Just for the passive, once that's used, then I'm going to sell it and get something else. I think they're doing it, right? Yeah. Had a thing. Oh, she's helping them do the Baron. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. These guys. I have no idea. Until you've seen a thousand people hanging on your every word. See if the Eddie stays. Probably not. All right, little eighty. Now we have to hold out or survive again. Hopefully they understand the job and Misfortune has to ult the wave once she has back up. If they're trying to push us 4 or 5, she has to ult. This guy is so much overextended. Do we want to be safe or free? The choice is ours. 
needs to be mid right now and help defend. Because right now, Vladimir is really like he's in his late game stage. This gun easily. Wait, why is he, why is he not helping him? Oh, he's trolling. He's actually trolling. He's actually trolling. I remember when I danced for fun. At least a good thing they made it so everybody gets the buffs. Late game. They have not gotten anything yet. Miss Fortune needs to be met. She should not go bot right now because she's the wave clear we have. I'll not be able to hold it myself. Why is he taking this way? And he constantly wants to engage. I'm just gonna try to hold on to the Baron buff expired. Maybe they can get a kill bot side. Looking good. Just don't run into his ult. I have to stay mid here so I can defend. No words. I had no words. Just chill bro, just chill a little bit. Good job. I keep chasing him. Okay, flashes out. Good, good, good. Good job. And the whole world will move. I think I have to go top right now. Somebody tries to push. That's a big wave they will have. Ron is getting his items, but it's really slow. Like, it's going really slow. It's gonna take a while before he comes online. He would need stuff like the whole breakup before he can actually do stuff. Still have the Guardian Angel up, so it would be nice if we could force a fight where Psyche makes his really good engages, like he did the last two times. As long as he knocks somebody up when he jumps, right, I can follow up with my CC. And he has been doing that pretty well the last two engages. If we can uh, get this, that would be awesome. I'm gonna back off so I can buy the pot. Right, so I don't have Ignite. Vladimir, with his items, if he gets to Misfortune with a one combo, she's gone. Like, she's toast. So if you can force a fight before it spawns. Would be sick. Oh no, okay. They're gonna camp around here, we don't have any vision set up. Waiting for Galliolt. I'm getting ulted. Nice, good job. I'm gonna zone this Vladimir out. I want to make sure he's not able to get a ult off on my AD carry. Great job. We got what we wanted to. Oh, he ran all the way. We can still get him, right? Good job, good job, good job. Oh, please don't die at mid. Please don't die at mid. Oh, we have to defend mid now. I don't want her to see the slaughter. Had to defend. So we had a chance to get objectives, but they inted. They ran it down. At least we got the soul. His fortune has to back off because the top lane is gonna chase her, right? No mind, he's staying top. What? Okay. We have Sagas also coming. Just defend. Oh, he's fighting. Ooh. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Gal yourself, gal yourself. Ooh, Ash Alt also used.
So our support is doing a terrible job of warding. Meaning we don't have any vision on the important parts of the map. So sometimes we are forced to face check. So it looks like a team fight might start here. And it has to be a really good engage, otherwise we're gonna lose it with all that AoE they have. Like is fighting. His fortune needs to be in a good position for her ults. But they're getting poked really hard. That's not good. That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. If they can push mid and pressure for the tower, we can force them to back off. I have the GA so I can just keep going. Beautiful guys, awesome. Awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. We can end, we can end. And end, right? Ash is spawning soon. Wait, what? Wait, what? He's going to die, no? Alistar? Alistar? Wait, we have to end, we have to end. We can kill the Ash when she comes. Oh, it's the Thalty Misfortune, right? Just end, guys. GG's. So that's a very difficult game, but it's also a really good game that shows, you know, the late game fights. Let's head on towards the next game. Alright, guys, we showed a mid lane game. Now let's show a top lane game to complete the video and stay set. So the build for Aurelia mid and top is pretty similar. Like the build does not change whether you are mid or top. It changes depending on the opponent you're playing against, right? So whether you're playing against AD heavy team, AP heavy team or mix, stuff like that. So set can definitely be annoying early on. Like Lil One is something you have to watch out for because he Usually starts with the E and his passive, giving him that strong auto attack on the right hit. Basically meaning that he has a very strong early game that we need to uh, respect. I don't know what that is. Ooh, okay, yeah. We don't need to uh wait, are we gonna poke him? Where did he go? Where they fell, oh they're invading a what? Right, just some free damage for him. They might be taking our blue, but I can't really contest just because um it's going to be one versus two. Mother Zealous. I think I'll place a ward here just in case I'm getting ganked. I had to get used to that they changed the map a bit. And uh, if I force a trade then the jungle might try to come up here. It is Diana though, she doesn't really have any CC until she gets level 6. So right here would be for the best if we let him push in the wave, which he is doing right now. Just gonna stay back and chill, and I'm not gonna overextend for a minion and then risk getting CC. Oh, there she is. I'm gonna take the E level 2, just like last game. Here. So, you want to bait out his team. So, if you can like walk within and out of range to like force him to use it. That'd be nice, but if you do get caught, you're going to take a lot of damage. Like he's not using it all. Just used it on the minions, and also got a free hit, so that was a super worth it. 
ability use. Never stop learning. There's always a form we don't have. So be careful you don't use too much mana to last it with. So if you can, you know, last it with your auto attacks. Dance with what brought you. There we go, that one is out. Him. You see, I baited that out that E guys, and then we play around that stack passive, and bam. Got a couple auto attacks off before I engage, but you see, when you get to stack that passive up as Aurelia, the damage is ridiculous, because your damage does not cost any mana. You get it just off of your auto attacks alone, and it keeps refreshing when you're hitting enemy champs, or monsters as well. Alright, got his flash out. I don't know why the Galio's here. I don't want her to see this slaughter. Did they swap already? Wait, what? Did they swap? Or is he just holding the wave? I don't know what he's doing. Looks like they swapped. I mean it's fine. Fine is fine. I don't think Set can do much mid. Unless our uh, mid trolls. It's the same thing here, except for a Gallo, you can just all in him pretty much whenever. You have your W to uh, reduce. I'm gonna stay behind him so he cannot run away. I'm gonna heal up a bit. I actually did not see if he had the ignite, he doesn't, but I did not see that early on, so I was kinda worried that maybe he might ignite and take me out. Gonna push. So Aurelia, stronger top lane for sure, like she's good both mid and top, but definitely stronger top because it's an extended lane, meaning that you have more room to move around and you know really chase down the opponent, hit them with a lot of passive stat, auto attacks. So top lane definitely, you know, gives her a lot more stuff to do just because the lane is extended compared to mid. Let's say you hit the opponent with the E and then you engage and then you can't really auto attack much here because he would already be within tower range. But in top lane you have a lot more room, that's why I was able to chase down the set. Father, mother, zealous, okay, they uh, swapped again. Not sure what that's about. The TP is out. I'm gonna ping his flasher because it's used, so if Nocturne wants, we can get another kill. Now be careful engaging here, because you can still lose the trade, because he has a massive minion wave advantage. Give them an inch, they'll take a king. So even though I'm sitting on a kill lead, that minion, or those minions are going to uh, pretty much nullify that if I try to fight in that wave. Got level 6 here. I'm gonna stack up the passive. Oh, he also got level 6. Like... Ooh, that was pretty close. But that is because I did not get to reset or hit my E. I missed my E. And against this matchup specifically, you have to focus on dodging the center of his W. Because that's where the true damage is at. So as long as you don't get hit by the center, a lot of his damage will be reduced. Oh, you've got lead feet. The AD carry is getting pretty fat. It's not very good. But it's an immobile AD carry. I mean, she has... It's a good thing that they're running Flash and Ghost. I never that. Meant to leave. Because uh, it makes it hard to catch, you know, AD carries even though they are immobile. Ooh. He has Flash up. You have QW. QW. Nice, there we go. 
It's like his long range ability. Hold on this guy. His flash is going to be up soon. Nocturne can still pull off a Gengar. So once again, the minion wave is pretty big here. He is walking back though. I can like try to quickly stack up the uh, Q. You see, I'm prepping the backline minions. Oh, yank my kill. Okay, that's good. You see, I got hit by the center. That's why it took so much damage. You get hit by the sensor, damage reduction does not work. Does not work because it's true damage, but it works against, you know, every other normal damage source, including physical and magic damage. We got a kill, we got a kill. Fine. No ultimate on the Galio. And no ult and flash here. And I can TP back, so we good. And we got that massive first item. Once you get this, you just run people down on Aurelia usually. And this is like, it's a, such a big spike on Aurelia. This is far from over. We have not yet begun to fight. You stop you? Okay, it's good. Flash is out. That's good, that's good. Harm no Meaning the next time he'll not be able to run away. I see as soon as you get played of the Run King, you one shot the backline minions. Oh he might be in trouble. He's fine, he's fine. He's dead. I'm gonna try to last hit. Oh what? Okay. Lots of air I'm happening. Ooh, the cannon. He has ult up with us. I think we can make it work if we play it probably. I'm gonna see him first. Gonna sang a bit. Nice. That's a good way to uh, play it out. Had to back off here because uh, three men incoming and Galio has assault up as well, probably. No mind, he's toast. In that case, I'm just gonna stay and push out another wave. That is a good way of diving is that one gets the initial damage off or the CC and then he stays. Within tower range, you know, just at the edge. So you can tank some tower shots while your opponents or, your, or while your teammates are dealing with the opponent. Get the armor boots, helps a lot against the set. And next item can be uh, this one. That's all the mixed stats it gives, but you can also go for the other item that I did last game. Or if you're playing against, you know, a magic damage, you can also go for Witsend. I did not light my Oma's lantern. I just wanted to kill Oh, he's dead. He yeah. is not surviving that. Alright, let's see if we can run him down. Ultimate is ready. Alright, just have to make sure you're not behind him because then he ults you into his own tower. But you know, when you get played the Rune King, you just run most people down. It's such a big spike. These are the things we got over here. Helps with pushing down objectives because they also tank a bit. Got two drakes. That is not uh, very good, actually. That Jinx is pretty fat, so that would be the one we have to focus down. He wants to hold me into the tower, so that's why I'm just walking back. You know, sitting on a lot of... Jinx might go... Oh, never mind, the tower's not down yet. 
Thought for a second that she might go. Act, and the whole world will move. Upside of mid. <clears throat> Bot lane. I mean, they're losing, but if you look at the CS, it's pretty even. So it's not as bad as it looks. Unless they start running it down now, of course. You do not know because Nocturne can always ult him. Ult the Jinx and get some Somnus out. And if she doesn't have Somnus, that might even be a kill. My job will be to AFK push and try to get some pressure. Alright, cut the hit up. Nice. I don't care about his W anymore because he's so far behind that it doesn't really matter. And I keep that last Q once he used something to like uh, CC me with or like to escape. In case he had flash up or something. Then I like to keep that mobility spell and just auto attack him while I'm within range. And then once he gets some distance between us, that's when I Q in. So like make sure that you are sticking to the target. Just got AFK push. Oh, he's already back. You see, when you hit enemy champs or monsters, your passive is going to refresh. You can also keep one of these monsters alive just to... Um, keep your passive up. Oh, you might be dead. Ooh, that's that new item. Bot lane is getting ultra smacked. Let's see if he stays. So at this point, you know, when we took everything topside, you can invade the enemy jungle. Try to find the enemy jungle. Get a kill with your jungle as well, or we can go for the Galio if he steps up. There's a saying, never fight Ionians on their home soil. Did not reset yet. Oh my days, bro. That's the Galio ult. This is also coming. That's a waste of time, like I'm dead anyways, I think. Okay, good. I did not want to give that shot down to the Jinx. That's a lot better that he got it. But I thought I could maybe Q through and then escape that way somehow. Oh no, he missed the ult. Alive. Oh no! Might need to get a Wizard after this item. Oh, she's also dead. We have a very squishy team. That's such a problem. I have to TP mid so they don't destroy everything, hopefully. Maybe we can do something here if they stay. Thing. Yeah, I also like to use my E out of range sometimes. That way they can't see it. Like out of vision. Rip off up? Let's see. I did not pay attention, that's my bad. She didn't even know, like what? Man, that's so unlucky. That is so unlucky. That was the free kill I just gave up on. I won't make it in time for the Drakes. So I'm just gonna go top and push it out. But Diana's not there at least, so they should be able to secure it. It'd be really bad if we lose, you know, that Drake as well, because then they have the third one. Yeah, we need wood sand for sure. We need the wit scent. Of course I can fight. I grew up with four siblings. I could wait here for somebody to come. 
But I want to like force them to come now. And you have to be really careful, especially this game, because they have a Galio. So you can probably assume that they will never be alone. alone. When our fight is happening. Both of them have 7 stacks. Let's get the Wizard now. Definitely need the magic resistance. Otherwise I will also get pretty much one shot if I don't time my W. For example, if I accidentally use my W, he's going to burst me down. I will get blasted. I have to not forget that I um, have a Galio, that's why he's stepping up like this. Did I just get ults it? Or was that a W? Oh, that's just one HP jinx, guys. Wait, why does he keep ults? Oh my god, man. We could have won this fight if this guy pressed his ult. Looks like team fighting or like split pushing is the way to win. Okay, good. We'll be fine. We have two AD carries and a very squishy mid. It's going to be hard to coordinate these fights. So right now nothing they can take, so they just need to farm mid and not run it down. And it would be nice if Senna went tank, but she's not. Cool. Oh, attacking the wrong target. How do you misclick? You see, I just keep my Q because if you dash within close range, you just get behind him. That way you can block out or like dodge his W. Or at least make sure that you're not getting hit at the center. Oh, awesome. They got a shutdown. And I refresh the passive here so I can get a couple hits off on the tower. Alright. Finally, we got this outer tower. Now I have to back off here because probably the whole team is coming. Yeah, they are. We need some vision on the Baron, would be nice, and I'm gonna go bot now. So I want to be on the opposite side of the main objective. Right now I had a free tower, so that's why I pushed up. They didn't kill us all. He should not be bot. He wants to risk it. It's pretty bad no game knowledge that this guy's doing this. He needs to be mid to wait clear. And if you go side lane, oh, she's gonna survive. Bro, look at this guy. What is this guy doing? That was a free win as well in the fight. This is what I mean, you know, some players who just have beyond terrible game knowledge still be in places where they should never be and they can end up costing you the fight. So even though it's our fault, or you can, even though it's his fault, these are things that you should still know because then you can avoid this happening. So you should expect your teammates to not know what they're doing. And then you try to play around that. I can CP. We had any wards? Jinx is coming. Should I go for the Jinx? 
I, I don't think she saw me. Okay, I'm alone. I did not have ult yet. There are 80 carries down the list. I'm gonna heal up. They're still chasing him? No, looks like they aren't. We'll try to heal up from this wave. Oh, they're still fighting. Fuck, they're probably going for a Kaisa. Wait, that's a free kill, no? Okay, good, 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 good. What I'd like to see. I missed the E on the Jinx, otherwise there would have probably been a kill. Or maybe I would have died because I would read too much. Should I agree for this? Oh, this top side. Nice. Surviving. Okay, good. That's what I like to see. And... So you can also go for Titanic Hydra. Uh, we probably need some tankiness here, so we I think that is what I'll be buying. This guy's a dead. He should be dead with a fear. Oh my god. Okay. You can't even ping the items anymore, so you can't tell them what to buy. They're not itemizing against a insanely fat mid, so that's why they're just getting blasted at once. I could wait here and take out the Diana. What strange power Imagine this is water, that would be such a disaster. Bro, I hate these players, man. Pull back off. In case Galio TPs. Another free kill that's just gone because um, she decided to move up. I need to be silent, but when I had TP. And I need to always pay attention to the Galio ultimate. So it actually be nice if he uses it on me instead of my teammates. Get the uh, Titanic Hydra. Yes, way clear. And the active is also back because they put it back on the tier mat. Ooh, W. Don't ult, please don't ult them. Okay, good job, good job. This is how they should be playing it. This is how they should be playing it. I'm gonna place this on the first key here. So that's is pretty easy to forget to use it. I'm gonna clear out the vision. An ocean separates I had to stay here because they might get caught. Axon is waiting to ult. But uh, we are wasting time. I can't even move, bro. Good. Nice. All right. All right. All right. They're probably too low for Baron, right? Yeah. I want to engage, but Nocturne did not ult in time, so I was alone for a while. And I also got ulted by the Renata, so it was like permacy seat. Gonna get. This, and then probably the Xerx Gauge, then I can help Frontline a bit. Could also get some armor item. I'm gonna go bot. That's CP, I don't care. I will not disappoint. Oh my god, man. That's fine, he's slow, like he's really low. 
might charge to me. Huh? Sucks. Really bad CP as well. But I also I'll play this one bad. It's a free kill. Can you can you just take the Drake? Hello? Take the Drake guys, take the Drake. Why is Noctan not hitting the Drake? So I stay gonna get the soul and that would be pretty difficult to work with. Because they just perma heal. I got all the soms out of the Galio. And they also secured the Drake, so that's nice. Ooh, that's a free kill. He doesn't have soms. Nice, good job, good job. Now, I grieved a bit and I died. That's my mistake. They also hit the Jinx. Okay, getting some flashes out. Nice. Alright, good stuff. So, our carries have scaled up. Thing is, we are really squishy, but it's three high damage carries. So, as long as we can keep them alive, that's why I am building tanky right now. I don't need to go full damage. We already have so much damage. So I need to be like a frontline for my team. That's why I'm changing up the build. And remember this item has an active now. Like this. I think people are too used to it being a non-active item. Because it's been... I think it's been years since it has been an active item. The last time. Oh, maybe you can take it because they're chasing... Uh, oh, or mid I mean. Right, got the inhibitor. I think it's a okay change as long as they don't get the Baron from this. I could go top and try to uh, get a kill on the Galio. He might keep pushing. We have no vision. That's not good. He pushing or are they going? Okay, he's pushing. Nice. But uh, we don't have no vision on the Baron. Yeah. Use the active. That's good. Also some ridiculous wave clear that you're getting with uh, the um, Titanic. It can be a little bit annoying because, you know, the minions can die before you actually get to stack your passive up. Could he be here? Nice, nice, nice. We could end, no? We can actually end. We could end if they came. It's okay though, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we have to back off. Jinx is up now. Let's just back off because we don't have more people with us. So we could definitely have ended here if everybody came. Okay, I mean we got two players and they spend pretty much everything trying to take us down. But that's free for our teammates to take more objectives. As to they could go bot right now. Maybe they can even yeah, I think they should be able to end because Alien Jinx is down, so their carries are gone.
Guess they're not ending or what? Okay, I, I mean this is the safe way. It's fine. Then the game is getting extended a bit. Had to ping the flash on the Jinx. He's waiting to ult. Okay, just go top then. Oh, they're spawning. They're spawning, guys. Galio and Jinx spawning. I cannot ping them back. They're gonna die. If he has ghost, they're dead. I had to CP bot so I can take the Drake fast before they come. And I had to block the Jinx ult. Can you like stop hitting the uh, ult crap? Ice is blocking. Okay, good. We can go. Jinx is not here. Chaotic fights. Chaotic fights for sure. So if we can like poke somebody out then we can end maybe. But probably too risky of a player to make. I'm just gonna go top. I'm just gonna go top. No objects are up yet and top is the last tower. I mean they don't have any towers but problem is that we are at a numbers disadvantage. That could still work out if we play everything right. It would be the risky path to take. It's all in the footwork. And I cannot push any further. I am full build as well. I could definitely, you know, sell this item for example and then get some armor, but the tenacity is really nice as well, guys. I am not because they do have a decent amount of CC. Wait, where's my support? Wait, what? Just left me? Ooh, massive AoE. Okay. Yeah, you get them, GG's. That was a good game. And I also got to show both mid and top, so really hope this video was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.